All right, everybody. The Bulls of Bologna is the bonus series. The car that we just won through the special event, Hybrid Highway, the Lamborghini Sienna FKP37. So let's check out uh, what the series is all about. You'll find the bonus series under Road Collection, a uh, new category, Season 1. And in there, you will see the two bonus series, uh, Deutsch Duels 2, or Deutsch, Deutsch Duel 2, and the uh, Bowls of Bologna. Of course, the Bowls of Bologna is the one that we are going to take a look in this video. Uh, the bonus series does feature two other Lamborghinis, as you would expect from the title of the bonus series, right? A Ventador SVJ and... I still stand by my opinion on this one. The best Lambo Real Racing 3 has to offer Hurricane Performante. So let's check out what this series is all about. The Bulls of Bologna. Some of Lamborghini's fiercest fighting bulls parade across the world's most prestigious circuits. All right. And quite a colorful trio we got here. I feel like they need to be customized though. All right, I'll, I'll get around to it one of these days. <laughs> Which seems like uh, it's harder, harder and harder to find time for those things. But, uh, well, I'm making this video with the time that I have instead. So, well, yeah, it is what it is. All right, so first of all, the series itself, obviously you have to own uh, one of the three cars in order to... Um, unlock this series and uh, 400 percent completing this bonus series you there is some 75 gold and 75,000 racing dollars to be earned and uh, it is total of 20 tiers uh, with the three uh, showcase tiers featuring each car and three time trials featuring uh, each so that means total of 51 events. So 48 trophy events and three time trials. So when we have a series like that, that means um, basically you need to complete 13 events to claim 25% completion, uh, 26 events for 50% completion, uh, 39 events for 75% completion, and obviously 100% is pretty easy. Uh, all 51 events, so 48 gold trophies plus three time trials. And uh, from what they have published on their site, uh, Fire Monkeys that is, PR85 is what's required to 100% uh, complete this series, which means uh, out of the three cars featured in this uh, bonus series, the new CN FKP37 is the only car that can um reach that kind of pr because well here we'll take a look at the the cars featured in this series so aventador svj in my garage it is fully upgraded but as you can see it taps out at 79.1 and the uh, hurricane performante mine is not fully upgraded uh, on this account, I have 23 of 28 upgrades on board um, with the PR79. But uh, when you max it out, it does go up to 82.2, which obvious, it obviously is a few points shy of 85 that's necessary. And the CN, um, of course, I did not spend any gold to win it, so I have a very low number of upgrades, only seven racing dollar upgrades on this car with a PR 72.1. So I'm not going to be able to go very deep in this series. Um, actually, let's see, 79. I should be able to still claim 75% completion of this series relying on the other two Lambos because they have a higher PR than my new CN. But uh, of course, CN, when it's fully maxed out, it does go all the way up to 50, uh, 
85.9 and uh, in order for Cyan to um, reach the PR85 you need to spend some 1045 gold <laughs> and uh, 2,185,400 racing dollars uh, that is total so since uh, in my case since I spent some just under 500,000 racing dollars to win this car uh, I still will have to spend over a thousand gold uh, 1045 gold to be exact basically what you got to do is you have to uh, max out engine get all five upgrades there uh, drive train you need three of the four upgrades because so basically you don't need the final um, gold upgrade and then uh, I think you may need to um, max out body most likely right and then um, I think you might actually have to get um, you can you might be able to skip suspension but then you will need all the other categories maxed out like exhaust need to be tapped out um, I mean there are only three upgrades available on exhaust and brakes so obviously those you're gonna need to get and I believe tires and wheels you still need to get them we'll, we'll double check um, once we reach that point as in uh, once we confirm the PR requirement in this so yes because I believe uh, this car does not quite land exactly at PR 85 but it's more like gonna be 85.2 so basically one upgrade that you don't need to get is gonna be the final drivetrain upgrade simply because it's the pricey one uh, like suspension is cheaper at the end so that would be the reason why um, you need to get the suspension and tires and wheels the tier 4 up gold upgrades basically and of course when there are five tiers of upgrades available you do have to max those out because then you know final upgrade the tier 5 upgrades on engine and body are both racing dollars so those are usually more affordable so um, that is the story of uh, upgrades that you're gonna need but uh, for now let's check out the series itself starting out with tier one we got drag race does it really matter where it is well if you care to know that's a pretty easy one to find out because it's a tier one we got circuit of the americas grand prix all right we got elimination at silverstone bridge grand prix so you gotta survive for what two minutes 20 seconds and then the cup for tier one is going to be at Monza Road Course. Um, how suitable, right? Right in uh, outskirts of Milan or Milano, as they would say. So three laps, morning race. And of course, morning has uh, the, 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 the color is not so red hued anymore at Monza. I don't know. Is it global warming? <laughs> <laughs> it's just much grayer in the morning over there now all right so once you complete tier one uh tier two we got speed snap at suzuka grand prix autocross at catalonia grand prix and the final cup at bugatti circuit pr 65.1 is required so um the cn Base PR is higher than that, so if you are running through this series with the CN, you don't need any upgrades. But the other two, the Hurricane Performante and Ventador SVJ, uh, you will need at least some racing dollar upgrades to meet this PR requirement. And this is going to be another three lap cup. And you would need to complete that to unlock the tier three where we got another drag race why so many drag races right uh, this one's going to be a nurburgring grand prix whoop de doo yes i know and then we get endurance as silverstone international circuit so you know you're 
target distance may vary depending on who you have to against uh, race against. If you got some fast TSM friends, this might be a long race, but hopefully it's a shorter one for you. Because, you know, this early on, you don't want to have to struggle. Anyway, uh, the Tier 3 Cup is going to take place at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. PR 66.2 is required. So yet another uh, tier that the CN can run stock. Although if you won that car through the hybrid highway special event, I have a feeling you probably have, you know, at least tier one upgrades. Um, not saying that uh, you wouldn't be able to complete that uh, series with less upgrades than that, but uh, you know, I think I've done relatively well in that series. Anyway, three lap cup. There we go. Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix circuit. But uh, this one, you don't necessarily have to complete the tier three in order to unlock the first showcase tier, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ showcase. Um, so without necessarily meeting the PR requirement of 66.2, there are two more um, uh, gold trophies that are available for you to win from this showcase tier assuming that you own this car. And for Ventador SVJ Showcase, we got Speed Snap at Monza Road Course. And the cup is going to be at Laguna Seca. Four laps. And as always, uh, Showcase tiers don't have uh, PR requirement. And uh, looks like this time trial tier also unlocks at the same time so the Aventador SVJ time trial will take place at Red Bull Ring Grand Prix so that's a good circuit minute eight is a pretty good time all right so once you win nine gold trophies you get to unlock tier six where we got yet another drag race this series has so many drag races already that is like every other tier has a drag race that is a bit much don't you guys think i mean come on this is not a um you know you know about the other um uh drag race app this is not that so come on and <laughs> the other app does a pretty good job in that one. So we don't need this many drag races, I don't think. Come on. Anyway, this one takes place at Porsche Test Track. Long on-road circuit, as always. And uh, Autocross is going to be a Catalunya Grand Prix. And the uh, Cup 4 Tier 6 takes place at Suzuka Grand Prix. PR 69 is required. So now... All three cars, you're going to need some upgrades. Um, and uh, in case of the Ventador and uh, Hurricane, you need some gold upgrades in order to reach the PR69. Um, but, uh, of course, the CN doesn't. So... That is that. And let's see. Um, so yeah, uh, tier 6. You can claim your uh, first 25% completion because obviously if you complete, uh, if you win 12 gold trophies and one time trial, right? This time trial. And then um, obviously... Um, nine gold trophies 11 or let's say eight nine ten here uh 11 12 right so without even having to complete the tier six you are technically able to claim that 25 percent completion reward which is uh nine gold and nine thousand racing dollars so 
in order to do that this is the pr requirement it seems like you need to meet uh 65.1 right so um that is that right but that assumes that you have a Ventador SVJ because otherwise your PR requirement would be uh, you need to complete the tier 6 entirely. And uh, let's see, is that going to be enough? That's actually not going to be enough, is it now? Because you need 13 event complete. And if you don't own SVJ, you're not going to be able to do time trial either. So yes, so see, this things change a bit uh, when you don't own uh, some of the cars featured in a bonus series. Anyway, uh, moving on, tier seven, we've got Speed Snap at Spa, Hunter at Melbourne, and the Cup at Daytona Road Course, PR 69.9 required. And it is going to be another three lap cup. All right. And next tier, tier 8, we got Endurance at Bugatti Circuit, Autocross at Laguna Seca, and the Cup at Dubai International, PR 71 required. And uh, so far, so good. All three cars. And this one, of course, it's going to be three lap cup. And that gets us to the next... Uh, Showcase tier uh, featuring Hurricane Performante. This one we got Speed Snap at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit and the Cup at the Long On Road Circuit of Porsche Test Track. It's going to be a four lap cup. Once again, no time uh, PR required here. And the time trial, of course, unlocks at the same time. And it's going to take place at Melbourne. And look at that, 41 seconds and change for a lap around Melbourne is blazingly fast. That is. And remember, Hurricane Performante, they don't even put this car in the legend section of the game. It is a elite section car. But it, I think, far outperforms um, some of the more expensive and... Uh, higher PR um, cars, certainly higher PR Lambos, I think. So, um, all right, so anywho, uh, that's tier 10 and uh, tier 11, we got head to head at the uh, Bathurst Mount Panorama and it's gonna be a single lap cup, followed by Hunter at Dubai Club and the cup for tier 11. At Spa, PR 71 even for this three lap cup. That should be a fun one. And uh, let's see. Yeah, this is where you get to claim the 50% completion reward, which is 24 gold and, or not 24 gold, actually, 24 gold trophies is what you need. Um, 15 gold. Yeah, 24 gold would have been nice for rewards, but no, 15 gold and uh, 15,000 racing dollars is the reward so that is addition in addition to nine gold that we've won at the 25 percent complete so you know accumulatively speaking that would be 24 gold <laughs> no but 15 gold is the 50 percent completion reward all right so that requires pr uh 71 i want to say i mean obviously if you own the card you'll be able to go a bit further um but considering that you need 24 gold trophies and two time trials complete, um, yeah, PR 71 is what I'm gonna say uh, that's required. And let's continue on here. Tier 12, we got Autocross at Hokkenheim Grand Prix, Speed Snap at Catalunya National, and the Cup at the uh, Le Mans 24 hour circuit. It's gonna be a night race. PR 74.3 is required, so if you are trying to run that with the uh, CN, obviously you need gold, <laughs> gold upgrades. Uh, but uh, thankfully, my other cars have higher PR in my garage, so um, yeah, it's going to be a nice two-lap cup. 
And the night race does concern me at Le Mans because the, since the new update, the night races are very, very dark. So anyway, PR 74.3 is required for those two laps. Continuing on to tier 13, we got speed record at Circuit of the Americas National Circuit, Elimination at Laguna Seca, and a Cup at Silverstone Grand Prix. PR 76.6 required for this four lap cup. And then finally, we get the third showcase tier featuring uh, Lamborghini CNFKP 37. Here we got autocross at Berlin circuit and the cup at Nürburgring Grand Prix. Four laps. All right. And time trial for CN will take place at Mount Panorama. And uh, minute 29 with a much, much higher. Actually, that's the maxed out PR, 85.9. So these guys obviously are running with fully upgraded CN. Uh, I am far from it, so don't expect me to hit this kind of time. <laughs> um, under minute 30, holy cow, that is fast. And uh, let's see. Um, by the way, if you complete every gold uh, event, win gold trophy, and complete all the time trials, this is where you get to claim the 75% completion reward of 20 gold and 20,000 racing dollars. So that means, uh, what, PR 76.6 seems like a relatively close number to go with. All right, although most likely some of these later events uh, tiers might be unlocked by the time uh, if you own all the cars and if you complete all the, the showcase tiers, obviously you are able to unlock more tiers um anyway then but then it things get a little complicated to figure out exactly what situation you're in because then things can be uh yeah there are more variables right so i'm just gonna go with winning every trophy up till this point and that will require uh pr 76.6 for 75 percent completion give and take a point or two <laughs> All right, so now final bit of the series, tier 16, we got Hunter at Spa. So that's a full lap. Speed Snap at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix. And the Cup at Catalonia Grand Prix with a PR requirement of 76.6 once again. And it's going to be a five lap cup. So that would be a fun. I like Catalonia. That's a fun circuit. Um, moving on, tier 17, we got yet another drag race. I mean, the midsection of this series, at least we had a nice run without any drag races, but, you know, apparently we cannot escape from these drag races in this series. All right, this one takes place at the Brickyard. What do you know? Road course. And then we got speed record at Daytona Road Course. And the cup at Nürburgring Grand Prix, PR 79.8 is required. So none of my cars can do it. <laughs> I am being PR blocked, but that's okay. This is uh, past 75% completion. So um, I won't be terribly heartbroken for not doing the five lap cup at Nürburgring with these cars. It's it's okay. I'll be okay. And then, uh, peer, uh, tier 18, autocross at Spa, endurance at Dubai National, and the cup at Hockenheim Grand Prix. We're returning to Hockenheim, just like hybrid cup, right? And PR 81.6 is required for this five lap cup, so we don't have to run 200 laps. <gasps> All right, and... Next, oh, by the way, if your, um, let's say, Performante is fully maxed out, then um, that will take you through tier 18 because, you know, that one gets all the way up to 82.2. So obviously, tier 18, PR requirement is 81.6. So you're, you'll still be able to do it. Uh, but once you get to tier 19, 
uh, PR requirement is up to 83.2. So from here on out, the, the final two tiers, uh, only um, CN with the enough upgrades are you're going to be able to race. Anyway, tier 19, another drag race we got here. This one at Manza Road Course. So I feel like we have like five, six drag races in this series. That's exactly five or six more than I care to see. But uh, well, what do you know? What a waste of an event is what I would say. But all right. And then we got head to head at Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Circuit. I mean, I'd be okay with maybe one or one drag race. I'm okay. Two, you're beginning to drag it out too much. You catch what I just did? <laughs> anyway, uh, head to head, single lap, Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix. And then the Tier 19 Cup at Mount Panorama up here, 83.2 required. And it is going to be... Uh, Decent length, five lapper. And as I said, CN is the only one that can pull it off. And the final tier, tier 20, we got Hunter at Porsche Test Track, long on road circuit, speed snap at Dubai Grand Prix. And the final cup takes place at the Brickyard Indianapolis Motor Speedway, road course PR 85 is what's required for the six lap cup. And uh, as I mentioned, CN is the only car that can reach that PR. So I believe in order to reach that PR, you need to max out um, engine. And um, you also need to max out body. Right, and then you need three upgrades on drivetrain, and you need three on suspension. Actually, I think you probably have to max out suspension if I remember correctly. Um, but we'll come back to it. Of course, max out the exhaust and brakes since there are only three upgrades available here. Uh, 82.7. Yeah, this is gonna be a expensive one, all right. So, three upgrades on the remaining categories, right? Other than engine and body, brings your PR up to 83.9. So, the next cheapest upgrade is tires and wheels. 155 gold, so we're gonna need to get that. Brings PR up to 84.5, and we're gonna need one more upgrade, right? And between drivetrain and suspension, uh, suspension is cheaper. It's drivetrain 185 gold, suspension 165 gold, and that brings your PR up to 85.2. So, yes, that is the amount that you're gonna have to spend so you know at which point you might wonder like why don't i just fully max out this car you know instead of stopping at this point right um yeah i guess the then uh i made a mistake on mentioning the the upgrade cost to 100% complete this series, it's actually 1155 gold, not a uh, thousand and change. So, yeah, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, PR 85.2, you basically need to get every upgrade except for the last drivetrain. So, it's gonna cost you uh, 2,351,100 racing dollars. Basically, you need every racing dollar upgrades available on this car um so yeah which takes like some three hours and 12 hours by the way so that's a lot of ads to watch if you're trying to get that done quickly but anyway that will do it for the series overview of this uh brand new 
bonus series featuring the brand new car, Lamborghini uh, Sian. So hopefully you guys found this uh, video useful. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the next video. So take care. And yeah, stay tuned.